We engineer and supply composite arch bridges. Basically, it's the arches, the decking. It's non-corrosive. It's pretty much inert with the environment so that uh, it's going to last a century or longer. And what we need today is sustainable infrastructure that's not going to wear out, not going to deteriorate over time. Very little maintenance, if, if any at all, with this bridge. Those are the things that bridge engineers have asked for, and that's what AIT Bridges is delivering. One of the things is ease of construction, and the fact you don't need heavy equipment, which makes it ideal for rural areas. This technology here can be done with, uh, with relatively small size crews. They can do it quickly. They, within two weeks, they can have a bridge up and, and running and it's, uh, it's very easy to assemble for the crew. It, it doesn't require the level of skills that you would have with traditional bridges with heavy materials that have to be lifted into place. Over time, the product has been continually improved to the point where it's uh, commercially viable and ready to be rolled out nationally. We hear a lot around the country about bridge deterioration and unsafe bridges. And so both uh, Department of Transportation and as well as Department of Defense and others uh, chipped in and provided the resources necessary for the university to really investigate this technology and bring it to the point where it is now. It's very helpful to have our location as close as we are to the university because uh, many times as you commercialize and as you develop a new product, you know, there's questions that need to be answered and the university's there to help with those answers and to do further research if necessary. I'm happy to say that now the research is pretty much closing out as commercialization begins and now it's a business venture and uh, we're taking it to the next level and hopefully within this country you're going to see um, a big increase in the numbers of uh, these sustainable bridges that are built around the country. The engineers coming out of the university today are well versed in these new materials. They've been around for a while, they're in the aerospace industry, they're in the automotive industry, but they've been slow to be adopted in the infrastructure industry. And I can see that changing and I think the connection in having the training of the new engineers being done the same time the research is being done is, is critical to the success of new products and new technologies and future economic development.